Now, there were once more than 100,000 wild Amur tigers across Asia, but they've now become an endangered species. Many of them are hunted down for China's medicinal market. Conservation experts are trying to save them, including one orphan cub who was found exhausted and frostbitten in the wastes of Siberia. And instead of keeping her captive, they managed to release her back into the wild, as our Asia correspondent John Sparks reports. At first, she hesitated. But when the moment came, her departure was swift. This is Cinderella, a young Siberian, or Amur tiger, returning to the wild with a vigorous leap. They call her Zalushka in Russia, and many here think the future of the species now rests on her youthful shoulders. She was starving and frostbitten when they found her, and her mother had been killed by poachers. But instead of asking a zoo to take her on, the conservationists tried something new. They built a large enclosure in the wilderness and took on the job of Cinderella's mother. They began preparing her for life in the wild. It was an ambitious idea, something that hasn't been tried before. Well, this little one showed up with um, around the edge of a village. Uh, obviously looked thin and weak, uh, other than being half starved and um, you know dehydrated, it was a good candidate to try rehabilitation. And they think it's worked. Cinderella spent a year in her enclosure with human contact kept to an absolute minimum. When the team decided to move her back into the wild, Cinderella was tranquilized, then measured up and prepared for the journey ahead. Her new home deep in the forest, 1,000 kilometers away. She was doing really well. And um, over the months, she, showed, she exhibited typical tiger behavior, which was a positive. And um, so the time has come to um, release her in the forest and uh, we'll see how she does. There's a lot riding on Cinderella's journey. The experts desperate hope that she'll find a partner to breed with because the Amur tiger is threatened with extinction. There are only 350 left in the wild. But she'll have to survive the rigors of the open forest and the poachers who inhabit it. The most immediate threat is the illegal wildlife trade. Uh, there's a demand for tiger parts, whether it be tiger bones for tiger bone wine, um, skins. Um, in the Russian Far East, tigers are being killed using snares. Um, the poacher will visit the carcass after a few days, take the tiger, traffic it across into China, and then it reaches consumers there. Consumers in China and Vietnam and Thailand as well. People who buy tiger parts for their medicinal properties, for strength and virility and rising affluence in the region means more people are willing to pay. The effect has been felt in Russia's Far East. At least 20 Amur tigers have been killed in the last 12 months, despite the efforts of those who try to track and protect them. But this is a bit of good news. Not a fairy tale ending exactly. But Cinderella is doing well, living off the land and looking for a mate.